The other answer is I need, in full disclosure, I need to say that this just came before the uh, Planning Commission, and I'm a member of the City Council currently, and it's going to come before the City Council, so I have to be careful how I answer this question because I've been told by our City Attorney that um, I can't just blatantly come out and tell you the way I feel because um, then the developer could accuse us of that we're voting before we've heard all the information. To that point, if you've driven off Home Boulevard across from uh, St. Martin's of Tours, Barrett America, they started doing building smart growth. Um, they were uh, uh, condominiums that they were building right there and they were going to start building along uh, El Cone Boulevard and we were going to start having mixed use where there's living above with um, that there's commercial down below. The problem is Barrett America unfortunately went out of business and so that was the last development they had. The property at Park Station is owned by a family. They are going to develop it. The question comes how we can work with the group that's developing it and giving our input. And I applaud the people that live along Baltimore and up El Capitan and all the other streets because they've definitely been vocal in a positive way giving their input. The answer is yes. Of course, it can be all the things that we would like it to be. The best thing that we can do is continue to ask for those things. Um, if you were at the Planning Commission meeting, you know that it was voted down. So it will come before the City Council next. Um, I think that's a big signal to the developers. Okay. Yes, this is a big, big issue. This is one of the prime locations in the city. And the plan that came before the Planning Commission needs modification. Right? Can we stay a village? I don't think so. I think that, the, that to do that, we have to allow for all these people that come in to, to park their cars in the, in the doubling up of, of the housing that we're talking about and congesting the city in a way that it, it's, either way, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stay the way it is now. It's, it's changed in the time that I've been here. What we need to do, I think, is uh, what was interesting is they wanted their own zone for that for that building. I would I would like to see people get together and create a zone that goes from that property to the Civic Center and around the old park station where we can have community input that defines what goes there and puts into place a plan that has a real long term future where we look at it and we say that that area down there is is as the center of the city needs to have public urban park spaces in it. And in order to get that, we're going to lay out the parameters as a community that will allow these developers to know that as long as they do that and they put in some safe and protected bike lanes, if they put in green spaces, that if they work towards working what we all want together, then they can build what they have to build here. Um, I can't tell the people that are wanting it to be under four, that it will stay under four. I can tell you that I will do what's best for the community. I have nobody backing me, telling me that, 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 that no special interest here. I'm a grassroots, I want what's best for my kids, I want my daughters to have a place to live when they get older. And we're looking at it, but we're not going to have a place to live for them. Well, this has been going on, I think, 10 years, uh, private funded um, property. I think the property is underutilized. However, it has to be developed in a way that meets with the city requirements and something that's embraced by the community. Obviously, it's not embraced by the community. It's going back to the drawing board. Excuse me. I think that in time, there could be something there that could work for everyone. I don't think the plan um, has been flushed out. Obviously not. I don't have all the an 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 answers. However, the synergy of a center such as Bobo. Bobo has ignited that corner in, on Mesa Boulevard. It was vacant. It was dark. Businesses around there are now extending their hours. Everyone's getting the cash registers ringing all the way around because people that are waiting to get their dining reservation, people that want to go into have a drink, have an appetizer, are stopping and shopping a little bit by Bobo. So I know that development, some type of managed development, can generate some type of synergy 
where everyone wins. I just don't know what that answer is. Obviously, it's not this plan. Well, you've asked the question, is there a way to avoid the type of mixed-use plan that was proposed? And I think the answer you all know now is yes. And that's the community stands up, and the community goes to meetings, and the community expresses their opinions and voices their concerns, and we now know that the Planning Commission rejected their proposal to give them a specific plan that will allow them to go 10 stories. So, can we stop it? Yes, we can. Do we want that parcel developed? Yes, we do. It'll generate revenue for our city. We need that. So, there's options. Do we tell them that they have to build within the village specific plan, which is a four story maximum? We can hold the line. Will anything get developed there? We don't know. Is there some room for negotiation? Is six stories too high? I don't know, but I believe 10 is. Now, am I invested in the decision? Well, I've, I've gotten, I've spoken at every meeting except this last one because as an attorney, I'm in trial and I'm still in the trial. I'm, I'm amazed I'm here tonight because I'll be back in court tomorrow morning. But what we have to do is keep expressing our opinions and being vocal, and that will solve this problem. I think something will be built, and it will be built the way the Masons want it to be built. At the last two planning commissions that I attended yeah. regarding Park Station, a lot of times it's starting like there is either all or nothing. It's going to be this 10-story building or it's not going to be anything. And I don't think that's what people meant. Our last forum that we had was at downtown Mesa at the mixed use there. And I asked people after, what's it like living here? How do you like it? And everyone that I talked to said they love living there. It's nice. They're, most of them are retired. So I think a mixed use where the park station is, I think it would be ideal. But the key is to have community involvement. Um, people were very vocal during the planning commission, and I really think that's it. Many times in city council and in planning commissions, most of the seats in the city hall are empty. They're vacant until something dramatic like this comes up. I would like to see at all times having people involved there, participate, voice their opinions, be part of the city. I don't want anybody to look at the city council as, well, they'll take care of things and I trust them. Um, sorry, <laughs> trusting a politician is kind of funny, uh, even though I'm trying to be one. But what I hope is that we will all seriously work together for our city. Find out what fits in our plan, what is suitable, what makes it work, what makes it look good. And I think as long as everybody participates, we'll have a wonderful development down there. Thank you. The specific question is about park, sta uh, park Station at the Crossroads. As a city council member, it is highly inappropriate for me to even address this issue because of legal constraints. It's not that I'm trying to avoid it. I want to be sitting on the council when we start discussing this. The owner could recuse any one of us from making those comments. So I'm not saying anything about it. I have an opinion. I'm not going to share it simply because of the legal ramifications associated with that. So I hope you understand that issue. 